okay so we have seen the difference between the addition and subtraction okay now let's uh, make a more example in a subtraction okay so okay so a so we already uh, seen about the single digit subtraction 5 minus 2 8 minus 2 so now we are going to perform the two digit subtraction two digit subtraction we will start it from a very small number don't need to perform a very large number one two digit and one single digit we will perform a one two digit and a one single digit okay so for example like a 10 minus 8 okay so 10 minus 8 or 12 minus 5, 18 minus 3, 24 minus 9. Okay, so we will perform a one two digit number and a one single digit number. So, what is the first number here in a question? A given 10. So, 10 minus 8. So, 10 minus 8 means we want to perform. What is the first step? We want to perform a backward counting. From where to backward counting? From 10 to 8, we want to perform a backward counting. Okay, so 10 means before 10, 9. 8. So, how many fingers I'll leave it? 2 fingers I'll leave it. Okay. So, 2 is an answer. Okay, children. Okay, next B question. 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5. From where you want to start a backward counting? From the number from the number 12 to 5, you want to perform a backward counting. So, let's we make a backward counting. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5 okay so let's move do it one more time from 12 to 5 we want to make a backward counting 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 so how many fingers i leave it seven fingers i leave it so the answer will be the seven okay so this is a simpler form or simpler method to perform the subtraction so next 18 minus 3 18 minus 3 means we want to uh, make a backward counting from 18 to 3 so from 18 to 3 means we uh, don't have a such a number of fingers to leave it so you see here 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 up to 8 only I have but I want to leave a finger up to 3 so we don't need us uh, so much of fingers to leave it so so what is the way to find it out means no problem just take it out the number here 18 minus and 3 you should be write the 3 on a ones column okay children so you have to write the 3 on the ones column so now we make a backward counting from 8 to 3 from 8 to 3 so a from 8 means 7 6 5 4 3 so how many fingers i have left it five fingers i have left it now just take and write the one here 15 15 is the answer okay children Okay, now you understand. Listen, you, where you want to write the 3 is an importance. So don't write it on a 10th column. You should be write the 3 on the 1's column. So, 18 minus 3. You should be write it on a 1's column. So, 15 is the answer. Okay. So, next 24 to 9. So, we want to perform a backward counting from 24 to 9. So, if I'm five, uh, do a backward counting from a 24 to 9, is the, is the 10 finger is enough to find it out the answer? Yes, of course. No, we cannot, we, we, we cannot perform the backward counting using a finger by having only a 10 fingers. It's not at all. It's not a possible. Okay, so let's we have an idea. So, we want to take it out and write like this. 24 minus 9 you should be right on the ones column okay children okay see here we cannot perform from 4 to 9 as a backward counting okay if i if i uh, do a forward counting i reach up to 9 if i do a backward counting can i reach up from 4 to 9 4 before 4 3 to 1 I, I cannot reach up to 9 so what is the solution yes i will tell you so here how many numbers you have two numbers you have 
So I am just cutting the two number and giving a one number to this and making as a 14 and here remaining one number. Okay children, here two numbers are there, here two numbers are here. So I am just putting a 1 by here, then it will become a 14 and remaining 1 will be the here. So now you perform from 14 to 9, we can easily make a backward counting, isn't it? So shall we do that? 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. So how many numbers? 5 numbers, okay. So 5 and just take a write, out, write down the 1 here. So 15 is the answer. Okay. So let's do one more time. See here. So 24 minus 9. 24 minus 9. Okay. So if, if I want, if I perform from 4 to 9, I cannot perform a backward counting. I cannot reach a backward counting, isn't it? So from 4 to 9, if I, if I do a backward counting, I, I will reach a 9. No, I can't reach a 9. So what is the solution? The solution is, see here, here two numbers are there. Here two numbers are there. So I am just giving a one number to this and I am making as a 14 and one number will be here. Okay, children. I have a two number. I am just giving a one number here. Then the number 4 will become a 14 and the remaining will be here. So now 14 to 9 as usual, I am making a backward counting. How will you make a backward counting? 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 9. So up to 9, 5. So 5 and 1, I am just writing a 15. So 15 is the answer. I hope that you all uh, understand up to 18 minus 3. Somebody will don't get understand the borrowing system. Don't worry, we will see a more example on the borrowing number subtraction. Okay, so the next sum is. 22 minus 8. 22 minus 8. So see here I want to perform a backward counting from 2 to 8. Can I perform backward counting? Can I reach from 2 to 8? I reach 210. Now I cannot reach a number 8. So what is the solution? The solution is I am just taking a 1 number and putting it here. Then the 2 become a 12 and remaining 1 will be here. So if I make so if I do a backward counting from 12 to 8, then we will check what is the answer. 11, 10, 9, 8. So from up to 8, it's enough, isn't it? So 4 is the answer. And the remaining 1, I'm just putting it up. So 14 is the answer. 14 is the answer. Okay. So let's do one few more uh, sums on the same topic. Okay. So 36 minus 8. 36 minus 8. So I hear also the same problem. I cannot uh, make a backward counting from 6 to 8. 6, 7. Sorry. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So okay, if I reach 8. No, I can't reach it. So, what is the solution? So, you just getting a one number from the nearest number. Then the 6 will become a 16 and remaining 2 will be here. If I give it from a 3 to 1, I will give it to the next number. How many numbers will be the remaining? Two numbers will be the remaining. So, now we, now can I do a backward counting from 16 to 8? Yes, of course, we can perform a backward counting so from 16 to 8 we are going to do a backward counting how will you do a backward counting 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 so how many fingers i will leave it eight fingers i will leave it so eight and the two will be just writing down why i am writing the two error down means because here no number zero for no nothing no number means then it's considered as a zero so two minus zero is two so this is how i'm just writing down the two uh, writing a two down here okay children okay in case if at a one number is a two digit another one is a single digit we will use to do that if a both number are two digit then how will be the subtractions let's see some uh, number 27 minus 22 38 minus 8, 12 minus 10, 48 minus 39. 
Okay, so bo here the both number are a two digit. Here the both number are two digits. So how we are going to perform? Very easy. Don't need to uh, take it down, and you don't need a such kind of thing. Simply just write ones, tens, ones, tens. Just put ones and tens to the every number. Then all the ones can be subtracted, and all the tens will be get subtracted. See here, the first the ones will be get subtracted. Seven minus two. So backward counting six. Five, four, three, two. So five. You know, ones and tens. I'm just writing the answer also. Ones and tens to get a to avoid a confusion. Six, five, four, three, two. So five. Next, two minus two. The same number means the answer will be the zero. So the answer is five. Very simple. You don't need to do a backward counting from twenty-seven to two. Okay. So see here. Here the eight minus eight is. Zero. Of course, the same number means the answer will be zero. Three minus one means two. So twenty is the answer. Here, two minus zero means two is the answer. One minus one means zero is the answer. So two will be the answer. See here, eight minus nine. You cannot perform nine minus eight. Always from left to right. Eight minus nine. So if I if I uh, I cannot perform the backward counting from eight to nine. So I'm just taking out the numbers out, and I will do it. You can also do it he, like here itself to avoid a confusion at a basic level. I'm just taking out and writing. See here. Forty-eight minus thirty-nine. So I cannot make a subtraction from eight to nine. I cannot make a backward counting. So what is the solution? Yes, I will borrow a number. I'm just making a eight as a eighteen. So from eighteen to nine, you can easily make a backward counting, isn't it? So seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Nine up to nine. So how many fingers I have left? Nine fingers I have left. So in a subtraction, same number means the answer will be the zero. So the nine is the answer. Okay. So don't worry. We will perform a uh, more sums on a two-digit uh, borrow. I mean bro borrowing a number. Okay. So next question is fifty. Two minus sixty-eight. Fifty-two minus sixty-eight. So how will you perform a fifty-two minus sixty-eight? Sorry, fifty-two minus twenty-eight. Okay, so fifty-two minus a twenty-eight. So how will you perform? So from two to eight, I cannot make a backward counting. So what is the solution? I will borrow one number, then it will become a twelve, and this will become a four. Okay, so twelve minus eight. The backward counting. Now, can I do a backward counting from twelve to eight? Yes, of course, I can make a backward counting from twelve to eight. So, what is the solution? Eleven, ten, nine, eight, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Up to eight, I have stopped it. So, how many fingers I leave it? Four fingers I leave it. So, four is the answer. So here, see here, in upper four is a number and down two is a number. If I subtract it from four to two, from four to you can make a backward counting up to two. Four to three, two, three and two. So answer will be the two. How many fingers have twenty-four? So twenty-four is the answer. Okay. So let's do one more time. Sixty-seven minus thirty-nine. See here, can I perform a backward counting from seven to nine? No, I cannot make a backward counting. So what is the solution? So I'm just making a one number. I'm borrowing from a one from a next number. Okay, so I'm borrowing a one number. So the seven will become a seventeen. Then six will become a five. So can I perform a backward counting from seventeen to nine? Yes, I can perform backward counting. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine. So how many fingers I leave it? Eight fingers I leave it. So eight is the answer. Can I make a backward counting from five to three? Yes, I can make a backward counting. So how will you perform? Four, three. Up to three. Four, three. How many fingers I will leave it? Two fingers I will. So twenty-eight is the answer. Okay. Pebbles CBSE Board Syllabus